not buy any sneakers all of October outside of the Travis Scott 6, which I think we're all really hoping we hit on. I thought I would show you a little bit inside of my sneaker collection, starting with all of the Air Jordan 1s that I own. <laughs> Talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Shoes Change. Two Shoes Crew, what is going on? So we are inside Two Shoes TJ's closet. I don't really know what you want to call. It. I guess yeah, we're inside my closet. So welcome, different day, different hoodie. I thought it very appropriate to rock a Air Jordan hoodie because hey, we are going to dive into some Air Jordan ones that I own. Actually, all of the Air Jordan ones I own outside of like a single pair that I am selling. But thank you so much for tuning into this video. Uh, hopefully, if you like what you see, you go ahead and hit subscribe. If you are already subscribed, you know I love to engage with you guys in the comment section. So let's have a great conversation. As always, you can hit the thumbs up if you like the video. If don't, listen, I understand. You can just go ahead and keep it pushing. <laughs> this video, man, I think I neglected to realize how much work it might be because I'm also well the goal is to also show you like the 11s I own too so we'll see how this all goes we're just gonna start with the ones and work our way through I'm gonna try to make this video quick I don't want it to be super long and drawn out but I do thank you for watching I don't feel like my collection is something crazy fire I know you guys have been asking like hey can we get a collection video I don't understand why because you guys see what I buy and I don't think it would be that grand for you, but let's just go ahead and get started with the ones that I own. This is not going to be in any particular order in terms of what I've bought recently, uh, what I think is the most heat. We're not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and look at the Jordan ones I have. So this first pair here, people now also caveat, most of these are kept in actual containers. So shout out to the container store for blessing me and welcoming me to part of the drop front team a lot of my sneakers are kept in the drop front containers that are well actually beneath the camera right now you guys should definitely check those out if you are looking to retrofit and completely transform your sneaker collection that way you don't have to worry about glitter on jordan ones or dust you like getting through it just makes it so much easier to pick out your sneakers as well so again thank you to the container store this first one, it is actually a grade school only, so it was really only available in girl sizes, I believe. But this was part of the Air Jordan 1 fleece pack that came out last year. Once I walked in store, I had to have this. Now, I actually picked this up, I think, from Finish Line, and I had a coupon, so it actually came out to about $30 for me, I think, out of pocket. But it does have a fleece material here. Mind you, this is just meant for the fall and winter. Please do not rock this shoe. In the summer, the inside does have a black fleece lining. On the back, it's got that bronze copper Jumpman. It's got a Jumpman on the tongue here, which is very similar to the Jordan 1 Lowe's and the Jumpman that we are seeing now. It's got the copper swoosh, and then it's just black leather on top with the white midsole, but the black bottom is really nice. doesn't show dirt as much, so I love to break these out. This is the perfect time now that we have finally entered fall weather. So here's the Air Jordan 1 Grade School Fleece Pack that I own. This beauty here, I don't think it really needs an introduction. I think you guys know what this is. So this is the Air Jordan 1 OG High 2013 Bread. Now, if you're familiar with the 2013, especially in a grade school size, you know that it's not the most comfortable sneaker at all. But we deal with it, right? We deal with it. I really do want the 2016 pair. People will ask, hey, what's a girl that you do want? I want the 2016 pair just because the leather is better and it's just, it's a lot more comfortable. But... Here is my 2013 pair. I mean, I don't think it really needs an introduction. You guys know exactly what a bread looks like, but the beauty about this pair, I did go ahead and do a lace swap. Thank you to Sneakerheads Clothing Line, which you guys always know, if you use code TALKS with TJ, it actually gets you 15% off, $30 or more that you spend on the website, whether that's t-shirts, laces, doesn't matter, socks, hoodies, all of that. But these are premium leather laces that really set the shoe off and apart. So I, when I finally do rock these every now and again, it just seems to have more of a narrow fit than all of my other Jordan 1s, but it is still a bread and butter shoe of mine, so I love it. Sticking kind of with the bread theme here, this is a very slept on shoe. I don't understand why, but this is the Air Jordan 1 High Flyknit Bread that came out. They also did this for the Royal and then I think for the Shadow as well. 
I don't understand why people don't like this. It is so comfortable. Marcus from Soulmates and I say this all the time. It's so comfortable. The inside, like the insole is leather itself. It's embossed with the um, Nike Air. It's got, you know, the actual serial numbers that are there on the side. The tongue was even nice with the 1985 kind of stitched on there. Uh, it's flying it all around. It's kind of got these like wax laces in them. And then it does have the uh, swoosh that goes around in leather. So I'm a big fan of these. You can stand in these all day. They do not hurt your feet whatsoever. They're super lightweight. So that's a big plus. So big fan of the Air Jordan 1 High Fly Knit Bread. To move on down, you guys know, or hopefully you saw the video I did, when I picked up the Air Jordan 1 Hyper Royal from StockX. Uh, this was one of the most slept on ones that ever released. I slept on it too. I'm sorry, guys, really, I'm sorry. I have seen the light. This bright light's in my face making me sweat. But I have seen the light, and this is one of the highest quality Jordans that I have ever seen produced especially for grade school so shout out to you jordan brand for giving us a quality pair i know i know i know put the white laces in it'll look better leave me alone i'm eventually gonna do that but as a Colts fan you guys know that i'm happy we're sure other people are happy as kentucky fans that i have this shoe now to match kentucky stuff but again awesome shoe you guys can just see six and a half. all of my jordan ones just as a reference are a six and a half because six and a half just fits my feet better when it comes to a one. I think it's because of how narrow it is. But here is the Air Jordan 1 Hyper Royal. Moving along. So many of you men sold this shoe. I don't know why. Because then you came back complaining that you didn't have the shoe. I don't know what to tell you. But here is the Air Jordan 1 High Bread Toe. I even had a drawing, hand drawing commissioned for this sneaker because I love it so much. Now this really gave that credence to, hey, quality for a toe box, all right? Now we kind of judge shoes now by either shattered backboard or bread toe quality. And you know what? I didn't even actually intend to get this pair. It was added to my cart at the last minute, but I'm glad I did because it's become one of my favorite and more worn Jordan ones than anything else in my collection, which I know a lot of people are like, how can you wear a shoe that was selling or reselling for so much? I wear my shoes. I don't buy them to resell. If my shoes happen to I'll take that back. There are some pairs I bought just to resell. They were clearly not even available in my size. If you do see me sell pairs, a lot of times they're marked super low because I'm just trying to clear out some space in my boxes down here. But here's the Air Jordan 1 Bretto. Again, I think the most fire release of 2018. Just kind of being honest there. Here's the Crimson. This is kind of a hard shoe to even secure in my own store and I work there. But it, we only got very limited pairs. We only got 12 pairs in. So it's got more of this pebbled leather right here. It's not tumbled. It's, pe it's pebbled. Can't talk. I did. I swapped in the crimson tint laces with the green lace tips there. It's got the Nike Air on the tongue. And it's just got the crimson on the back and on the bottom. I know this, this is very hard to match with things. So I think it's one of those one-off shoes. If you actually throw on some camel pants or something, I think it'll make this pop. But here's the Air Jordan 1 High Crimson Tint. These beauties here, oh man. This is how I know, well, I could never really let, let Jordan or Nike go. Cause they reserved this highly coveted pair for me. I didn't have to jump through all these hoops and ladders on release day for Friday when these came out. All your girl had to do was log into her account, see the early access and actually hit submit for order. So I bought these. So as we know, this is the Air Jordan 1 Women's Satin Shattered Backboard. It is such an amazing, shoe we have the stitched like this is literally thread stitched uh swoosh right here now understand when they say satin satin is usually actually i learned this i think from hess kick satin a lot of times has to do with the way the thread is actually woven and doesn't have to do with the material itself but it's just still considered the satin it's not a full satin shoe it does have really nice leather on the side panels here but the toe box is satin and it does hold up to weather and wear pretty well and then the back heel is satin as well as the upper collar this is leather which is a really nice touch the inside is satin for a very comfortable fit and i know why don't you throw the white laces in these too listen people give me chances okay i'm just i'm getting to it i'm getting to it we're gonna lace swap some of these and i'll put some white laces in here but this is the air jordan one women's high satin shattered backboard that i absolutely love uh i think there's one pair here too you know what 
Sticking to that, this didn't make it up on the shelf, but here is one of the most recent Jordan 1s that I picked up. And this is the Air Jordan 1 Low Shattered Backboard. This is the grade school pair. <sighs> I got this for such a steal. I was so excited. It was kind of a constellation sneaker, but you can see the Jumpman on the tongue. It has a, quite a few different materials from Nubuck to patent leather to this pebbled leather. It's just an everyday awesome beat up shoe. A lot of people are now picking up Air Jordan 1 Lows. I'm glad they're getting love. You see the 23 up there. This is a good everyday shoe. I don't want to beat those up. I can beat these up, all right? So once again, the Air Jordan 1 Low <laughs> Shattered Backboard. <laughs> all right, before we get to these two pairs, let's just get to this. <sighs> The Air Jordan 1 High Obsidian. Man, a lot of people had trouble pronouncing that word, but this was a fire sneaker. I've already worn these. I plan to wear these a lot. They did a great job on the construction and the materials of this shoe. It is that nice leather. I think the leather might have different for some people on your pair. I'm terribly sorry about that. My pair is awesome, so I absolutely love rocking them. Uh, bottom is that obsidian sole, so I mean that's good for me because I'm afraid about getting it as dirty. <laughs> but if you're a North Carolina fan, I know this was a must for you, so hey, happy to have. Down to my last few pairs. I don't think I'm forgetting any pairs. I'm trying to look around in all my containers and things. I don't think I'm forgetting any pairs. So we'll turn to this shoe being near and dear to my heart, just simply if I was able to secure it. But this is the Air Jordan 1 High Women's Satin Black Toe. I do not own the actual black toe. I do not want to pay the price for the actual black toe. So I am glad that I have this pair. Now they stepped it up in terms of this satin release for women because the wings, of a, the applique itself, I guess you would want to call it, is actually metal, which I think is awesome. The back is satin, but it's just a different woven type of... I said they wove it a little bit differently than they did that material. Let's just put it that way. The collar, the heel collar here, um, that is still leather. The inside is satin. The tongue is not satin. It's just a regular Jordan 1 tongue. And I mean, this toe box wasn't bad. It wasn't anything insane. Um, I think my toe boxes were actually totally different. This one is super plush and this one is just eh, whatever. But Holds a very special place in my heart, so happy to have the Air Jordan 1 High Women's Satin Black Toe. And we'll get to the final, coup de gras, in my Air Jordan 1 collection. The Air Jordan 1 Off-White UNC. Uh, I hit this on the shock drop, and you know, huh, it's just, I'm actually hot. But it was one of the most awesome moments of my sneaker life. I just, I'm, I'm gonna really put that out there. It really was, so we know so much about this, but Virgil Abloh, you did your thing on this pair, so we know the traditional off-white branding lettering that is on the um, inside, air on the lateral side, shoelaces, I put the orange ones in, I finally did lace swap those. I love this deconstructed foam tongue, it really adds a special touch for me the flap we know shows 85 and then yes i leave the hang i leave the tag on there for two of them not for one pair that i have of all flights but thank goodness they they improved this too because i think on the chicago one it wasn't that great but finally to round out my air jordan one collection we have the air jordan one high off-white unc one well, guys, you know what? That concludes my Jordan 1 collection. Hopefully you guys loved what you saw. Give me some feedback if you like on my Jordan 1 collection. Listen, I don't think anything that I have in terms of, you know, accumulation of sneakers is special, whatever. It just is what it is. This is what I have, and I'm happy to have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace.